G'day and welcome to LPEP, the music quiz show that remembers when Kyla was Aussie and Kimber was Kiwi. With me, as always, our team captains, Adam Knox and Beck Russo. <laughs> Adam's first guest tonight has been asked to accompany a Colombian stuntman jumping from a plane to pull off the biggest wingsuit stunt of all time. It's comedian and extreme sports drug mule, Mark Conway. Thank you. Cheers. Strike. Adam's second guest tonight runs what she calls Fight Club for Word Nerds. I guess she's never actually seen the film, having broken both of the fundamental rules of Fight Club. <laughs> it's pugilistic poet, Telia Neville. <laughs> Beck's first guest tonight is a Melbourne-based Adelaide-born rapper that's said to create electric connections with people and has been blessed with an amazing honesty. All we know is that if you lie to him, he'll tase you. It's all day! <laughs> Beck's second guest comes from a band who have described their sound as slacker rock and roll, which is nice, as most rock and roll fans are notoriously hardworking and punctual. From Dirt Farmer, it's lead singer Stu Barlow. <laughs> All day, pleasure to have you here. How are you going? I'm going very well, thank you. A little while ago, you sent in a script to Will Ferrell and Adam McKay's office. Uh, this was a script for a TV pilot. Yeah. Uh, but sadly, you got an email back that said, they hadn't seen it because a receptionist had taken it and destroyed it before it had got to them. Yeah, wrote it up, printed it, paid for the postage to Los Angeles, California. <laughs> in a plane. <laughs> <laughs> and then obviously this receptionist, that's her job, destroying um, my dreams. And <laughs> You've had a couple of mixtapes coming out. Soon I'll be in Cali and soon I'll be in Cali 2 has also come out. Have you got anything else prepared for the rest of the year, November, December, anything early 2014? Mm, album should be out shortly, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. Yeah? Yeah. Can you tell us anything about it? Um, it's going to be a musical album. <laughs> okay, that's always good. That's always good. Yeah, so it's just going to be my debut album, so yeah. Okay. First copies of it will be shredded immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Will Ferrell will not be receiving. <laughs> uh, Stu, pleasure to have you here. How are you going? You. Yeah, good. Uh, you actually have to jet off straight after this because you're heading to Sydney for a tour. Yeah. Uh, but how long has that tour been going so far? Yeah, it's good. Um, we've done a little tour every weekend in August, so being around regional Victoria, it's been really good so far. Uh, <laughs> Telia, pleasure to have you on the show. How are you going? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You just had an incredibly successful run with uh, Wordgasm Smackdown at the uh, Melbourne Festival. Punches were thrown. Yep. It was amazing. People hitting each other with Verbal words. blood. It's an uncensored underground battle. Yeah. All, all, all bets are off. It's like hip-hop with... Oh, no, I was about to say it's like hip-hop with words, but most hip-hop actually <laughs> has words. It's like, it's like hip-hop and words. We do a little crumping and then we throw a few punches. Okay. <laughs> you know. You've also been putting yourself into a couple of photos, I believe. Yeah, I like to splice myself into places where I don't belong just to see how it feels. OK, so what um, kind of photos have you been putting yourself into? Well, early in the year, I was splicing myself into 1930s postcards. So I've got me and the paratroopers dropping over Germany. It's very poetic. <laughs> um, but uh, for November, I'm splicing myself into a set of family photographs I bought off eBay from America. Okay. They have the scariest looking kid I've ever seen, but a large collection of very beautiful dogs. So this is for an actual exhibition, not just a personal hobby. Well, you know, <laughs> one leads into the other, doesn't it? <laughs> Mark, absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank How you. you I'm, on, still, I'm still on the splicing. <laughs> yeah. I, th I generally thought I you were just doing it, and I was like, well, how does that want? feel, being in 1930s <laughs> photos? I think I saw a movie about Robin Williams doing that, and <laughs> didn't end well for him. So you've got, have you got a comedy festival show coming up next year? Yes, I do. My first one. Ooh. Yeah. What, do you know what it's called? Uh, it's going to be called Now That I've Agreed to Do It on a Panel Show, <laughs> Here I Am. Uh, have you started working on it, writing it? Do you know what it's about? Uh, I'm thinking about writing about my nana. As, like, hacky as that is, I hang out with my nana a lot and she makes me happy. So, uh, and she's, got, she's had an interesting life. Okay. Um, just get her to do it then. <laughs> I've, actually, I've actually rung her before on stage. I've seen you do that actually. Yeah, yeah. she's got a joke. She's the, great. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when my gig's going bad, I call her. <laughs> <laughs> Our first round tonight is Hits and Giggles. Each team will watch two artists' music videos and pick one of the artists as the answer to my question. Beck, Stu, all day. Let's take a look at yours.
about me separates me from the others Half our shows on stage, I swear to God we spot the undercovers I throw my finger up, then I pump unwritten letter Kinda crazy every song that I'll be getting better The new album's coming so, so fat Picture that if this shit was just a promo track It's Curse One yeah. That was Illy with On and On and Cursor with Fresh Air. But which one of these two artists made headlines when he said, don't be a piece of shit. If you don't want to get a cavity search at our gigs, don't steal our shit at gigs. Bex, Stu, all day. Do we know much about Illy or Cursor? Mm, I know a little bit about both of them. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I don't think Illy would say that. No? No. Is he more crass than that Ellie, or less crass? He's slightly less crass. Oh, okay. Really? He could say that. <laughs> is, is Illy a really nice guy all day? He's a fabulous guy. Okay. And he wouldn't say something like that, but you can't say the same about Cursor. I don't know Cursor personally. Oh, okay. But he has a foul mouth. He does. <laughs> he's more likely to be performing a cavity search looking for shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me shot. You heard the video. <laughs> <laughs> he's got neck tattoos, man. Probably. I don't know which was which. <laughs> Why would there possibly be a cavity search? Because people steal things. People are stealing things. And put things? them in their orifices. And put them in their orifices. <laughs> orifices. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. much could you fit up there exactly? Like, <laughs> what exactly like... are they stealing from the band that they're putting in I, a cavity? I actually think that he doesn't know what a cavity search is. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think he's up for it. <laughs> I think he's thinking a full body pat down. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah. He's not thinking like snap. <laughs> <laughs> I made a stole Illy's amp. I don't want to get in your car. So <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do that for a couple of weeks. That's true. I mean, that would have been a full... I mean, for a hip-hop gig, it's definitely, like, big amps, mics. That's probably... It's a lot of stuff. Like, Mike? You're stealing. Are we thinking a mic was Mike? put somewhere? Yeah, it's highly illegal. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you have, you're not authorised to give someone a cavity search. I'm going to push you guys for an answer. Uh, do I you think it is Cursor or Illy? I reckon going on your... Hunch, yeah, yeah, hunch. Uh, I reckon we'll go with Cursor. Yeah. yeah. All right, locking in Cursor. Yeah. You're wrong! Aww. It was Ely that had his stuff stolen at a gig in September 2012. Adam, Mark, Tilia, let's take a look at yours. Riding around on the so That was Bedroom Philosopher with Northcote So Hungover and Shannon Noll with Switch Me On. But which one of these two artists holds the world record for longest continuous performance of John Farnham's You're the Voice? I actually photographed um, this record breaking. Really? Yes. Really? I we did. should have oh done God. some research <laughs> and found that out beforehand. Without revealing who it was, because we obviously do it again. Or, seeing as you're on my team, you could reveal who it was. <laughs> okay. What, do you, do you, why was this person uh, doing this? Uh, it was a, a promo. It was kind of a... So they picked a very prominent location just in front of the steps of Flinders Street Station. It was under the clock. They may have done it in a fancy outfit that may have been quite sweaty on the day. Alright, well, I guess, like, for the sake of the fairness of the game, I'll ask Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon, not, uh, like, you were listening to Shannon Noll, you said before, like... Big black shiny car. Yeah. yeah. So, does that help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to digress briefly, the big black... The song goes, I have a car, I have a big black shiny car. The person that wrote that song... Did they just hit, like, it's 5.30, like, ugh, oh, fuck it. Just give it to <laughs> Shannon Noll. I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of a funny record to break. Yeah, and I guess. The bedroom philosopher is more of a comedian-y type of person. So you're saying Shannon Noll... Slightly more. ..would never try and get famous off someone else's song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the sake of pressing you for an answer, Tilia, would you like to... Tilia, yes. Who <laughs> exactly Sorry, was it? Adam, I'll just get you to sort of go for a side for a second. But <laughs> Tilia, who were you uh, taking photos of? I was what taking was photos of Justin Hazelwood, the bedroom philosopher. One point for you guys. Very well done. <laughs> Well done, Ferd. Uh, 
Our next round is called Cash for Comment. Teams must describe a number of artists without using any song, album or other artists' names. They have 50 seconds. Mark, you'll be doing it for Adam and Telia. <laughs> OK. Your time starts now. OK, you're a, you're a dinosaur that's had a big lunch and you're not going to have dinner, but in between you think, oh, actually, I will have something. Hungry. Snackadactyl. Bang. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> OK. We've got time. Uh, it's a, an African animal that's not one of the cool ones. If someone said it's their favourite, you go, ah. no. Me a cat. Um, um, OK, second word, sorry. You're an African-American talking about his mum. <laughs> in a cool way. <laughs> Mama. Uh, Ma? Tame Impala. No, uh, no, imp first word, animal. Ma, yo-yo Ma? Uh, animal. animal. Ma. It's... <laughs> All right, next. Uh, first word is... Jig. Jig. Dance. So, dance, dance. What's a band with the word dance in it? Uh, dance, ma, ma no. Oh, dance. God, next. Uh, okay, this is weird. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Allies? Yes. Oh, ally. Okay. Uh, this. Shoulder. Oh, collar. Yeah. Um, oh, um, collar. Shit. The colours. <laughs> Fucking collarbone. Yeah. Uh, this guy's first name is. Uh, I can't say his name. Uh, he's. <laughs> if you're the king of Brunei, you're the. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Sultan. Salt yeah. oh, oh, yeah. no. If you drink Windex, it's a... Uh, Poison. Uh, yes, don't do Bad. it. But, uh, chemical. Green. Chemical, bro. My chemical colour, romance. The colour of Blue. Windex. Blue juice? Yeah. Uh, well done. Uh, yeah. This girl's really attractive and I have a crush on her. <laughs> uh, Is it your girlfriend? <laughs> no. uh, Megan Washington? Uh, she's from Perth. Uh, Happy May. Yes. And that's time. Sadly. Very well done, though. Uh, so that's seven points that you got, Mark Adam Tealia. Very well done. Yes. So I'm clapping ourselves. All day. You'll be describing for Beck and Stu. Your time starts now. OK. Uh, home versus tornado. House versus hurricane. 86 tram. Bedroom possible. Collingwood um, band. Co Smith Street band. Smith Street. Yeah. Long, curly hair, 16 years old. New Lord. Southwest Celebration Home. North Northeast Party House? There we go. Oh my nice. god. Um <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, something that like a a pasta a priest. Pasta priest. <laughs> a pasta priest. Uh, like, spaghetti, um, <laughs> no, a <laughs> 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 religious. Someone talking about religion. Someone. Uh, uh, someone, Pope. someone trying to brainwash you with the Bible. Religion, bad religion. Bad. Yeah, but it's uh, spelled differently. Bad religion. No. <laughs> 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 Mate, what about Australia's favourite folk singer, old guy? Paul Kelly. Boom. R Rolf Harris. Oh, we already did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's anybody's favourite at this point in time, man. So just think of when you go in to order pancakes. <laughs> Short stack? Yeah! 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 That's time. Yeah. That was seven points for all day Beck and Stu. Very well done. At the end of that round, we have Adam's team on eight points and Beck's team just behind on seven points. Yeah! Our next round is Fact or Festival. I have four festivals. Teams must pick one and then answer a question about that festival. Adam, Mark, Telia. We've got Superfest, uh, the Falls Music and Arts Festival, Pete's Ridge Sustainable Arts and Music Festival, and then Creamfields. Which one are you thinking about? Falls? Yeah, yeah, you were saying before, you've both been to Falls, haven't you? Uh, have yeah, you been to Falls? Did yeah. you do stand-up at Falls once? No. OK. Uh, <laughs> would like to, though. <laughs> would like to. We will pick Falls Festival, then. OK. Uh, Falls Festival. Which onstage prop was stolen from the Flaming Lips after their New Year's Eve performance at the 2012-2013 Falls Festival in Lawn? Onstage prop, the Flaming Lips, thievery. <laughs> more thievery. Uh, they should do more cavity searches. I was actually there searches. and I did not see this. Oh, were? You were wow. taking photos of it again? <laughs> Are you aware I, of this, Tilia? Have you, are you 100% on it again? No, oh, no, okay. this one I do not know. Okay. 
But it's the flaming loops, which means it's probably something that blows up. They have the right? bigger bear outfits, don't they? The yeah. Furry outfits. Maybe one of their animal heads got stolen. They have um like a big like world thing as well, I think. They do. It's the like lead singer gets into a, a big plastic Zorb bubble. There's no way you can steal a Zorb. That's too... You know, no, but if no you make a getaway... <laughs> they try to grab you. Oh, we can't get a fix on him! And he also has, um, uh, like, like, um... Jazz hands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like, you know, you get it like big a baseball game fingers. with, like, the... But you just, like, big, big Oh, the novelty hands. hands. Yeah, but they're, like, just, like, sp splayed out hands. And he... I don't know why he has it. He just goes, oh, look at that. You're all high. And that's yeah. his thing. Check out my finger! First half yeah. of the Flaming Lips set was like an intro <laughs> to them coming out. It was like a big thing. Yeah. Like a <laughs> Flaming Lips Maybe show it's a really experience. big dinosaur. Right. A really big dinosaur? Yeah. Or so like, he's just doing hands. He doesn't even have anything on his hands. I think it's a hands. There's no I way guess... he can lead up to hands. Is his no. audience so drug affected he's not even trying anymore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, nah, What's up, guys? <laughs> Same as with he just jangles his no, keys no, in front no, of no. <laughs> Adam, you're thinking hands. I, I like. I have a feeling it's a hands thing. I remember. What are the hands? The hands are like big hands. He has big hands, and I can imagine them being quite easy to steal. You just walk off with your hands in your pockets, but just like a little more bulbous and normal <laughs> whistling down the street. Really big pockets. Yeah. Tilia and Mark, are we happy with Adam's answer? Why not? Do you like hands? Do you have any, any? Okay. I think it's a pair of stupid hands. You're right, it was a pair of giant laser hands that were stolen from the Flaming Lips after their performance at the 2012-2013 Falls Festival. One point to you guys, very well done. All day, Beck, Stu, which festival would you like to pick? Um, I, I don't know, you guys choose. What do you think? Stu, big fan of Creamfields? Um, I've never heard of it. Before. Really? It's an electronic dance festival. It's just people on pingers. I just don't like that name, it just sounds <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Creamfield. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Um, let's go with Creamfield. <laughs> <laughs> let's just do it. Yeah, let's go with Creamfield. You reckon let's you want to go with Creamfield? <laughs> All right. Uh, an overly enthusiastic raver nearly injured himself at Creamfield's music festival in Sydney in 2012 when he fell off what? So I'm guessing it, for something like this at a festival, you can't really... It's pretty flat ground. Yeah. Is there, like, bass speakers or something? Yeah. It would be it'd have to be something like stage related. Because or a tree. People climb trees and. True. Yeah. Can you tell us how injured he was? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> injured enough that he went to hospital, but then directly checked himself out and came back to the of festival. <laughs> I like the spirit. That's commitment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaker. You're right. He fell off. 20 metres of speakers and scaffolding oh, in Sydney uh, in 2012. 20, 20 metres. metres. How many and stories you know, is that? I don't know how many stories. I bet a lot. I bet one at every party he's been to since. <laughs> 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 I was at, uh, uh, at Meredith one year and there was a girl who climbed up the scaffolding that's on the sort of overhang from the stage that they have there. She climbed up and... Um, she didn't have any friends below her, but decided she was going to do that sort of swan dive backwards thing oh. into the crowd. Backwards. She went down, she landed, she, like, was kind of just lying there. And an ambulance came over. There was this guy next to her the whole time, um, like, sort of crouched next to her, like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> and the ambulance came over, and they put her on a stretcher. The second they lifted her up, the guy had been there the whole time going, like, oh, my God, this is the worst thing that's ever happened picked up this crushed packet of cigarettes underneath her. <laughs> went, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> And at the end of that round, with both teams scoring one point, we've got Adam's team on ten and Beck's team on nine. <laughs> our last round is called the budget round because we spent all of our money on button-up shirts. Adam. Mark, Tilia, because you're in the lead, you're going to be going first. Give me the next line of lyrics. Your time starts now. She knelt down beside me, said, Can I share your pillow? Creepy stalker. No idea. I rolled <laughs> over and I said, Well, hello, hello, oh. hello, Cat Empire. The spider spins his web, she spins here, Daddy Long Legs. <gasps> I haven't heard this song in years. Well, you've heard it now, and I need the next line. <laughs> 
Uh, she hangs above my bed, eight-legged acrobatic, daddy long legs, tumbleweed. She's one known to police because she looks like a riot. Her name is Courtney Love. <laughs> Any idea? She's one known to police because she looks like a riot. Oh, you did the, the support band. tour for the these band, guys. But I don't know the lyrics. Uh, what's the band? Jungle Giant. Yep. Always takes what she needs and leaves the rest behind. She's a riot, Jungle Giant. Sorry. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh, a tidal wave when the water was inside you. A hell of a mess to clean up when it came back out. <laughs> <laughs> I drunk you like a Coca Cola when I should have stoned you. Carmageddon. Abby May. Uh, good luck and don't you dare give up. Give it a little bit of... Lovin'? Vitriol. Vitriol! Oh, blue. Yeah. Uh, uh, for one crowded hour. Uh, uh, you were the only one, one in the room. room. One crowded yes. hour. Augie March. I want to live. I want to run through the jungle, the wind in my hair. I want to live like the animal? No. Oh, I was something about a cannonball. No. I got it. Um, I want to live. I want to run through the jungle, the wind in my hair and... Feel the, the grass sun. on my toes, okay. like the, the sand, sand in my, my feet. The sand in my feet. The animal's so grass in my toes. Grass, sand, feet, toes. Two points to Beck's yes. team. Oh. That means Beck gets the point. Two points to Beck's team. That means both teams are tied on 11 points. Beck, all day. Wow. Stu, you need one to win. Your time starts now. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it home. For breakfast. For breakfast. Gonna make it Vitamo. Uh, you're like a showgirl standing on the street. Oh, it's so old. How did you <laughs> dig this up? Uh, we do our research, um, apparently. You're like a showgirl standing on the this street. This is your lyric, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a stray cat always landing, landing on, on her feet. feet. Showgirl dirt farmer. Steezy gentleman, lung full of medicine. Pseudoephedrine in my head again. Love That's pussy all day. The day. <laughs> there we go. Honey, is it all right if I see you tonight? I'll give you all that I had to give my love. She shakes dirt. Farmer! Uh, even Frankie can't save your saviour. Just savour the flavour. Flavour. Oh, wait, this is mine too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I really don't. <laughs> <It's awesome. laughs> even Frankie can't save your saviour. Save Just savour the flavour. Flavour. I get A princess for later, later. Yep, next Check one. Shakespeare, so Leia, Leia. Yeah, share it out. All day. Very well done, guys. <laughs> At the end of our last round, we had Adam's team on 11 points, but Beck's team coming through on 15 points. <laughs> A huge well thank you to Mark Conway, Keely and Neville, All Day, and Stu Barlow. You've been watching LPEP. I've been Mike O'Donoghue. Have a good one. <laughs>